So I'm at the Natural Hair Transplant Medical Center in Newport Beach and I'm about to get my transplant. I'm a little anxious, I've got to be honest, because I don't know really what to expect. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm excited. Make sure to follow along because I'm taking you with me throughout the entire process. You'll see the procedure and at the end of the video, I'm going to share my before and after photos. So let's get started. So Dr. Chang, thanks again for doing this. This no is very problem. exciting. Um, when you were looking at my hair, what, what were you thinking? Because I already know what people are going to comment and say. Mm -hmm. um, from like a past video, people were like, you know, screw you, you call that, you call that baldness. Definitely. Yeah. As you can see, right here in the front, uh -huh. there is some thinning right here. I would say the density is about 30% of the original hair. You have great hair and this curliness does help cover up this area. But as you can notice, I would say about one inch up, you do have that you know, significant area, of, you know, a little bit of balding. I would say, they, they actually call this Norwood st stage two. And right now, this hair transplant will help cover this up and actually increase the fullness of the hair and give you a little bit more rich appearance. See, like this is curly, but if you pull it back, right? Like that's all empty space. Yeah, definitely. I would say from right here yeah. to here, you can see a notable difference between the top of his head and the first inch of his hairline. Uh-huh. Even on the right-hand side, it's a little bit less noticeable, but I would say half an inch up, there is you know, a significant amount of hair loss. I would say yeah. you lost maybe about 60% you know, of your hair compared to the density on the top of your head. Wow, that's a lot. When we do this hair transplant, you know, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but I think we're going to be able to increase this density you know, 45, 50% in the hairline. It's going to give a really natural appearance. And you were saying for someone like me, I only would have to do this once, right? Yes, I, you would not need Ever. to do a second surgery. Oh. Perfect, okay. My gosh, your hair is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but we're gonna do something called a superorbital block. Mm -hmm. And you do have two nerves that are coming out of here, uh -huh. right around this region. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna help us numb this recipient area in the future. Okay. okay? So I'm just gonna let, let the medication work, wait a couple minutes, okay. and then we'll start. Okay. okay. I hope when I wake up, I just, I mean, I know it's not gonna happen, but I just have hair like down to here. <laughs> <laughs> Blood pressure is perfect, 127 over 81. Heart rate's coming down, probably because of the medication. Okay. Oxygen saturation looks perfect. Excellent, excellent. How do I look? Am I beautiful? Great. <laughs> and again, chin to the chest. Thanks. How are you feeling, Frank? I'm feeling good. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Is it almost done? No okay. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so on average, this takes about six hours, right? On average, six to eight hours, depending on the size of the area that we need to cover. Okay, and people can go back to work like tomorrow? The next day they can go back to work, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, cool. Yeah. Might feel this a little bit, okay? Mm hmm. But it shouldn't be too much. Mm hmm. And this medication right now I'm giving you, Frank, it's going to help control the bleeding and provide some anesthetic for us, okay? Mm hmm. It's going to make it a little bit more swollen, so it's going to make it easier for me to cut, okay, and remove. So we're removing the shiver right now. We want to use some blunt dissection just to make sure that we're not cutting the follicle. We only cut to the depth of the follicle. And another important thing is the orientation of your hair right now, too. So we don't cut any more follicles than we have to. We're slowly trying to get the best strip possible. I am so out of it right now. Okay. <laughs> I keep, like forgetting we're even doing this. Exactly, that's exactly what we want. This is gonna be like getting a haircut for us, for you. Right. So right now we already took the strip, we controlled the bleeding, we already cleaned up the, the donor site, now we're just gonna suture it back up. So the stitches now. Yes, we're gonna put in the stitches. So right now we already numbed 
the recipient area, we're going to start making the slits so that we can place the grafts inside. So right now we're using a small 18 gauge needle and this is just going to help us give the smallest possible graft we can place. And let me know if you feel any pain, I'll give you a little bit more local anesthesia, okay? Okay. Ow, just kidding. <laughs> I don't feel anything at all. Perfect. It just feels like a massage. Excellent. And we're just following that same hair pattern with that irregular appearance. Yeah, so right now you're deciding how you want the hair, like which direction to go, right? Yeah, definitely. And then the orientation of the hair. Yeah. Is there blood? Very, very minimal. Oh. Right now we're going to have about two to three technicians working you at the same time. And they're going to be helping me place these grafts. I'm not going to make any incisions because I already made the incisions in terms of the direction and orientation of how I want the hair to be. Okay. But they so those, the grafts have already been cut up. Yes. And that's my skin, the grafts, right? Yes. Your own. Cut up and then it will be implanted into these incisions that you made? Yes. Okay. That is correct. Okay. Perfect. By the way, I cannot feel, you guys, I want to tell you, I can't feel anything. Like, I can't feel anything. Perfect. This is exactly what you yeah. want. We want I can't even feel my face move like nothing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The numbing's going to go away in a couple hours, but it's going to be perfect. Okay. okay. The transplant is now going to begin. All right. Okay, guys, so this is the tedious part now. These technicians are placing the grafts, which are the, the bundles of hair follicles, into the incisions that the doctor made one by one. And they're on like five right now out of 980 something, I think. <laughs> um, so this will take a few hours. I love that it's like I'm actually having surgery. Right? This is technically surgery. You are having surgery. Like, and I'm like on my phone, happening? watching Netflix. Yeah, take that. This one? Take it? Take All my coworkers are so funny. Yeah, take that one. Hey guys, okay, welcome to part two of this video. Thanks for sticking around for it. Um, it's been about six months and this is my hair so far. Um, I'm so happy with it. You know, he t the doctor told me that between eight and 12 months is when you would get the best results. But six months is when you start seeing good results. And I'm at six months now. So I can't even imagine it getting even better than this. Um, it's just been so full. And like, look at the sides totally totally completely filled out um, if you guys have any questions I really want to hear them so make sure you put them in the comments below because I'm, I'm sure I won't be able to think about everything right now that I want to talk about but I, I'm going to start out by just saying that you know I went into this hair transplant thinking that I was going to just fill in these little sides and you know it wasn't that big of a deal and I was really playing it down as like oh you know I'm not losing my hair, I'm just kind of filling it in a little bit. But I didn't realize what a big difference this was going to make for me. Um, I just feel so much younger. My little brother says that I look a lot younger. And you know, I was always, I don't know if you remember or if you've watched my other videos, but the hair was always really short. And I think it's because I was afraid to do anything with it. But um, after seeing Dr. Chang and, and, and getting the results after six months, um, I just feel a lot more confident and playful with my hair. I'm letting it grow out. I'm, I'm putting gel in it. I'm combing it. I'm using a straightener. I mean, there's all kinds of fun things you can do when you've got a full head of hair that I never thought about and I never tried before. So um, I guess, you know, the big thing I want to tell you is that uh, it's a little uncomfortable, but there's no pain. Not once during the procedure, as you saw, I was like watching Netflix the whole time and texting my friends. Not once during the procedure did I feel any pain. And even after, you know, I was told you might have a little bit of pain or a headache and they gave me uh, like Tylenol or something. I didn't use any of it and I didn't feel any pain. At the most, there was discomfort because, you know, this part of your head feels, it feels um, like swollen and the back of it kind of feels swollen, but it's not painful. It just feels like 10 times bigger than it actually it actually is. But that's just like this numb feeling that goes away after a few weeks. And I have really, really thick curly hair. So they thought that I might get some like cysts or, you know, ingrown hairs, but I actually didn't get any. A couple times I felt like little tiny bumps, but they'd go away after one or two days. And um, 
Yeah, as long as you just do the maintenance that they tell you to do, it's really straightforward and really easy. And uh, take a look at some of the results because it looks really amazing. And, and um, check out the back here, the back of the head. This is where the scar should be, but um, you don't really see it. The hair covers it really, really easily. So I really like that. Overall, I just have to tell you that this has been life changing. And if you have any kind of insecurity about your hair, it's 100% worth going to Dr. Chang in Newport Beach or anybody else that's near you because as you can see, the sides have grown in completely and the confidence level is just through the roof. I just can't believe that this is after only six months and I'm, and I'm so excited to see um, what happens in eight months or a year. Maybe I'll do a follow-up then, but make sure you guys subscribe and, and, I'll, and I'll do more stories about my journey with my hair uh, as I play with it. Now I'm excited about how long I can really let it go. And by the way, I, guys, I just cut my hair a couple days ago. I trimmed it a little bit before the video, so it was even longer than this. I mean, I had it, I was feeling so good that I really just let it grow. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was getting a little unruly, so I, so I cut it a little bit. But if you'll remember, this part right here, in the first video, I was like pulling it back, and all this right here was empty space. And now it's all filled in, it's dark. Um, and it just feels really good and, and I, I don't think that I was really expecting how confident and how good I would feel. But I walked into uh, my work today and everybody was like, whoa, your hair looks so good, oh my god. So people are noticing and, and it get, it's like, I don't know if you guys know Diana Vreeland. She was one of the first editors of Harper's Bazaar and Vogue magazine. And she, she had this rule where she would make all the runway models, um, or, or sorry, the magazine models, paint their toenails even if they were wearing combat boots one of the models said and and her reasoning was she said if you know that your nails are, are perfect you'll walk better you'll look better you'll feel better and that confidence will radiate even if no one can see your nails just the fact that you know that they're perfect uh, will make you walk more confidently and so that's how I feel with my hair like just the fact that I know that my hair is fuller and thicker I feel like I walk better and I and I feel better um, and so you guys I recommend it to anybody please 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 if you have any questions leave them for me below and I will answer okay and now I'm in the car because I forgot to mention I want to show you this too. take a look at the little i guess you know how it kind of dips in there and there that was done intentionally because dr chang is such a genius and he wanted to maintain the integrity of the hair and of the you know uh natural look because most people don't just have like a straight line of hair right there so he kind of made it go a little like that you know and like that so that was done on purpose just so you know in case anybody's wondering please show your love for this video by pressing the like button below and don't forget to comment your questions and make sure to subscribe uh, to get another update on my hair and other interesting health and beauty videos that I have coming up and as always thank you so much